All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I uh, got a call out because there's some circuit breakers that are tripping, but I think I uh, have an idea of what could possibly be the issue already because I have some space heaters plugged in. And in the winter, space heaters are the number one fire starters in the winter. Space heaters are the number one fire starters in the winter. So uh, they have an issue where the breakers are tripping, but they got multiple space heaters plugged in already. So I know what the issue is going to be. But anyway, while I'm here, they want me to go ahead and check it out just to see if it's a breaker or something else. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have them turn on the uh, space heaters. Then I put my amp meter on it and uh, that way that'll let me know if it's the uh, breaker that's being overloaded or if it's something else. Okay, guys, one very important thing to note here is that if you look right here, it should tell you the wattage and look like it says uh, roughly 1500 watts. So what we're going to do here to get our amps, how many uh, amps this little unit is pulling. So we're going to go 1500 watts divided by 120 volts. So 1500 watts divided by 120 volts. That's 12.5 amps. Now, the lady next door, she has another one that's pulling 1500 watts also. So this one and that one combined, that's what? 24 amps on a 20 amp breaker. So I'm not certain if uh, both of these are on the same circuit. So let's keep going with the troubleshoot. Okay guys, so I got both of the um, space heaters plugged up. This is what they've been doing every day. You see that 26 amps on a 20 amp circuit. 26 amps on a 20 amp circuit. So now we found the issue. But what I wanna do, I'm gonna go turn one of the space heaters off and we're gonna see what the running amps is on it now. Okay guys, so now you see, it's showing at 15 amps. I turned one space heater off. So I am gonna recommend that they change this, uh, this one breaker right here because it's not even tripping uh, once it gets over 20 amps and that's dangerous. Uh, that could cause a fire. And I know they don't want that in this big expensive warehouse. All right guys, we just made it up to the electrical supply. I got the bolt in type VL breaker. You can see, man, we got a lot of, a lot of rain today. So, uh, we're gonna get this car wrapped up because I think that weather's supposed to get kind of nasty. We gotta uh, get in here, get out of this rain, and get this breaker changed out. So, let's go. All right, guys, so we back here. I'm gonna take this bolt out breaker. So we got one, two, three, four is a circuit. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be that one right there. <clears throat> Turn that off. Make sure this screws properly before I put it under there. It's a little tight. That thing is tight right there.
All right, so got the breaker changed out. We were ready to close this thing back up. All right, guys, so um, we just finished up that service call. One thing that you have to do, you have to educate your customers, your clients, because in order to give a good explanation, um, it's good to show them your method of troubleshooting because if you just tell them, oh, the space heaters are tripping a breaker without giving them an actual breakdown of how and why the breaker is tripping, See what I what I did was I took them over to the uh, I took them over to the space heater and I showed them on the nameplate where it says this this heater is pulling 12.5 amps. Now and I showed her I said look you have multiple of these in multiple offices that are plugged up. So that's why on the circuit breaker it showed over 20 amps. So this is how you have to tell your client or your customer uh, what the issue is because. Um, uh, they'll feel more confident in your ability. They'll feel more confident in you figuring out the problem. And also too, they're learning something because eventually um, they're gonna have this, the same situation at the house or they're gonna have the same situation again next year when the cold comes, they're gonna plug up space heaters again. So now they should know, hey guys, look, uh, we only can have X amount of space heater plugged in because we're gonna trip the circuit breaker. So um, maybe we have to come up with a different idea. So guys, look, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for getting this channel to almost 25K subscribers. Um, I gotta get out of here because it's raining and I think some snow may come, some ice may come. So um, I do not want somebody to run into me while I'm driving on the road. So uh, luckily I got out here pretty early this morning, you know, to where uh, I can make it back before all the uh, traffic starts. We'll see y'all next time back at United Tradesman Academy. Hey, you guys okay? Okay. <laughs> So, let me get my A out of here. Hey guys, y'all need to be careful out here. <laughs>